Hey folks, welcome back um, to Caves of Cud. So I feel a little better now. I had a... I, I, things got sour, actually, after recording. So I, uh, I had to... I had to lie down and then keep lying down for quite a bit, actually, because... Yeah, that wasn't all that great. Um, in one of the recent videos, there was a comment by Comfy Salad, and he said that I should take a look at the at this gun because it gives you minus 400 reputation with the Water Barons. I'm not sure who the Water Barons are, and um, I, I actually looked that up, and um, I still don't know. So the only thing. A oh, woolly ring mail. Interesting. What? What woolly again? Heat resist and cold resist. Okay. <coughs> um, because there was a uh, there was some conflicting information on that kind of because uh, I mean there were some posts from last year I think and uh, that was all to the extent of hey that stuff is not in the game yet but it might just be in the game now. Otherwise, that item would not make much sense, right? So, um, there was someone who was saying that uh, the Dromat Merchants are actually from the Water Barons faction. But uh, I think that the Dromat Merchants are a, are a single faction in of themselves. So, I'm not really sure how that works now. We're gonna, we're gonna find that out. But just in case we run into deep trouble... We can just try to... Where am I even? I need to check. Oh yeah, we're going to Gridgate right now, right? Yes. Um, in case we run into deep trouble somewhere, we need to not have this revolver equipped. Water Barons. Sounds interesting. No? That would be sort of a... Water Baron economy, I don't know. Okay. Oh yeah, the the gas, those were fungus spores from myself. So, that's that. I'm kind of... a little iffy on the food situation right now, because... Uh, and we don't have all that much stuff anymore. I have a lot of stuff in Joppa. I mean... Like all these star apples. But yeah, maybe I should just have taken them along. But yeah, well, you know, we're gonna we're gonna be fine, I guess. We're gonna be in Gridgate pretty soon. We also do have a dropper recoiler, don't we? I think we got that from Argive. Um Yeah, we do. And there's a cell in it, and we also have a cell in the Electro Bow. So there's that, I guess. I'm just gonna keep exploring these um, these jungle maps here. We need to be a little bit careful about maybe... Okay, spiked gauntlets. Oh, we can't have any gauntlets anyways, okay. Um, we need to be a little bit maybe careful about potentially running into bosses or something like that, because that could be nasty. Oops, it's an ice frog. Yeah, can't really freeze them all that well. Because they are already frozen. Frozen by nature. Okay, so much for that. That's another one of those hermits. They sometimes have good stuff, but uh, for now not really. Okay, let's keep going. This is a more open space. There are some more goat folk. I'm going to be a little murderous about the goat folks. Because, yeah, they do still give us a lot of... Uh, a lot of experience. And, uh, yeah, I want some of that experience. Okay, there's another sower, seed sower guy. So let's freeze that guy. Three more turns, 
freeze that goat. And boom, there we go. Let's get the sower seeds. How many do we have now? Eleven. Okay. They get kind of heavy, but uh, eh, they're going to be okay. Because, yeah, we're pretty strong by now. We can actually carry 405 pounds, which is quite good. Let's continue. Unfortunately, the goat folk don't often leave corpses. That means uh, you can't often butcher them. Because you can actually get goat meat from them, which is... Um, oops, evil corpse. Can we actually eat it? Let's, uh, let's see. I think there's actually no... Acidic taste and crispy texture. Mm -hmm. um, quenched and bloated now, okay. I think there's no concept of getting intrinsics and so on, like a net egg. Hey! You deprived me of my experience points. Because it just disintegrated in the in the in the skunk stuff, I guess. Well how did your friend die? Well he disintegrated in the skunk stuff. That's not really a dignified death, isn't it? We still get a hundred experience from the beetle bums, so I'm just gonna take them out as well. Okay. Good. So far so good. Let's keep going. There's one of these apes. There's another one of these apes. And these just seem to be two... Two apes. Don't seem to be... Don't seem to have many friends around. Okay, level up. Good. Mutation point. Um, I'm going to put that into two-hearted because that gives us a toughness up. And uh, let's see. <clears throat> I could actually... Um, you know what? I think I'm going to get Harvest Tree. Harvest. How far am I going? I'm going up to 5, so Harvest is going to be... Oh, Hook and Drag as well. Totally forgot about that. Let's put that on 6 and Harvest on 7. Alright. <coughs> okay. I'm a little coffee still. Coffee, yeah. I'm. Uh, that means I. I might just. You might just hear me. Coughing a lot. It always sneaks up, kind of. So um. That's kind of a problem right now. Thermal grenade. Interesting. Oops. Okay. You have steel long thought, okay. Not really interested in that. Okay, hey, you. Yep. The cleaver bill. Oh, fungus. Nope. We already had a bit of a run-in into fungus, and I don't really want to lose more slots to that, so... Let's try to avoid that. Flaming Iron Dagger, okay. Steel Battle, battle Axe Spike Gauntlets, nope. So where are we now? Oh yeah, no hostiles nearby, of course. Um, yeah, we're down here. There seem to be some ruins around, so let's... Take a quick look at this. Okay, oh yeah, there's some nonsense. Freeze that thing, what are you? Worker ant, okay. Huh. Oh dear. Carbide hammer, long sword, short sword. Ah, bummer, but this is sort of a carbide stash here. 
<laughs> Interesting. Is there a trinket in that? Nope. I, n I need to remember to... Like, there was also a flaming iron dagger earlier. And... Uh, yeah, there could have been a trinket in there. Like a... A cell. Need to... Need to... Yeah, I need to remind myself to pick those up. Okay. Do we actually have the... Also, there was an iron buckler earlier. But I'm not just now remembering. And I already got blocks, so... It would actually be beneficial to pick one of those up. Yeah. Well, we'll probably find another one, right? Right. So let's freeze that guy. Hey, Killipede. Stay here. Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, well that was a small ruins thing. But, um, it was just a little, a little house or something. But, uh, you know, and that carbide box was very interesting, I guess. Just no axe, unfortunately. But, well, we're slowly going to make our continue making our way through all of this nonsense. Okay, Chitina's Puma. Take out this guy. I said take it out. Okay. Let's take out this guy. Let's take out this guy. Well, that worked. Novice of the sightless way here. Yeah. Okay, there are more enemies. Okay, I think we're good. We're at grid gate now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my way down right now. We're just going to get the Golgotha quest, but uh, I'm not going to do that just yet. I mean, we have a lot of stuff that we can explore and find cool stuff, and I don't know. I want to actually kind of explore the world some more, find some new places that we haven't been to yet, and, uh, you know, just do some different stuff now. And that's a slug snout, so we're going to get that thing here. Oh yeah, I remember in, uh, in Gridgate there were lots of pigs, weren't there? And lots of boars. So, uh, yeah, we are going to rectify our food situation right now. Doesn't even matter. Okay, is there... there are no stairways nearby. Interesting. Has to be a stairway, stairway somewhere. Hmm. Let's take a look around. Grid gate outskirts. Oh yeah, there's just the outskirts. Alright. Totally forgot about that, how that worked. <coughs> okay. And yeah, we can butcher a bunch of things, which is good. Spark tick. Go away. Slugs. Oh. Oh, there are turrets around. There was also a chain gun turret around, which I'm not a huge fan of, and I'm injured. Um. Okay. Let's take out the killipede. Take out the centipede. Can we rest? Yes, we can. At least we're fine again now. To be a little careful here. Okay. It's a bunch of these guys. Segmented mirthworms. Never all that dangerous, but... Uh... Okay. Yes, that's most of it. Still grid gate outskirts. I probably have to do this via the via the map. But uh yeah. Yep, raw boar meat. This is actually working out. Freeze that guy. <coughs> that ape is fighting that robot. Hmm. Did not get any 
do not get any experience from that, but uh, well, it's okay. Yep. Like one of these things that doesn't really matter. Kill that thing. Kill the ape. Kill the spark ticks. Yeah, we can probably level up quite quickly around here. Also, I need to remember to harvest when I can. Oh, there's a box down there. Let's check that one out. <coughs> Let's select. Oh, now we got the iron buckler. Let's equip that thing. Gives us minus three dodge value, but uh, well, doesn't matter too much. And now we are just in the ruins. Okay. Um, I mean, I could actually we could actually do one of the ruin dungeon romps here. That would actually be quite fun to do again. But Gridgate comes first. How about that? No stairways nearby. You know what? Just gonna do this, and here we are. Gridgate. Well, it's often easier than to, you know, look around everywhere. Chain gun turret. Oh, 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 those things are dangerous, and I. Okay, something is going on there. I don't know what, but uh, we leveled up again. Well, I need to put that into strength. Boom! Now we got a plus six, which is good. And uh, going to put that into freezing hands again. Hey, there is a mechanimus pilgrim here. What do we have here? Nothing that we can use. Okay, there are more turrets. Okay, there's also a chain gun turret. The chain gun turret is over here. <coughs> so we can start here and take those things out. God, there are a bunch of chain gun turrets. We're good. We can we can make this work. Okay. All right. And destroyed. Good. All right. Let's see. See, the spark tick was not able to penetrate our armor. So, uh, yeah, things are beginning to work. Let's get the glow sphere, vine wafers. I don't really need those copper nuggets, but uh, eh, whatever. <coughs> let's get the thermal grenade as well. Let's just try to find the entrance. I'm just gonna, this is going to be the last thing in this episode, I guess. We're going to explore like this map out here kill everything and try to find the entrance and uh, in the next episode we're then going to get down into a grip gate I mean all right so okay uh, not much going on here there are the stairs down good that's a bunch of red stuff oh and that's a bunch of mirth worms Let's do a big ol' freeze, yes. Ah, always satisfying to do. Yeah. Like, diminishing returns are kicking in. So, uh, I think we reached 15, didn't we? Yes, we did. <coughs> okay, we're almost about to get um, a Zerg. That will take a little bit longer. Uh, I think I'm just going to I'm just going to get skillful harvestry. I mean, because why not? Okay, spark tick. No spark left. All right. 
Oh yeah, there are lots of mirth worms around. Let's just cleave our way through those. Well, that's that, I guess. Okay. There are again some security doors that we cannot open because we haven't found any any security cards. But so far, there's not really any reason to want that. Usually there are other ways to get that. Sometimes there aren't actually, but uh, yeah. The one thing is that we can actually we can actually get through this if we need. So probably cannot get through uh, what is it called Fulcrete. Yeah, we don't penetrate that at all. But uh, you know, through Slate we can get if we need. So that's good. Okay. Slug snout gives us food, which is good. Sparktic bear. Oops, I attacked this guy. I'm sorry, didn't want to. But I'm gonna attack you. Another copper nugget, which isn't all that helpful. But man, it's really fun to play a character that can carry tons of stuff, I must say. Oopsie, I'm stunned. Oh dear. Oh dear. You get frozen, please. Thank you. Bloody steel utility knife. Okay, I think this actually becomes more of a problem. I mean, we are actually not very fast, so enemies that can stun us will often do that. So, we need to keep that in mind. The thing with high dodge value is obviously that enemies will just hit way less often, so the chance of getting any adverse effects is obviously also lower. Also, I um, again have forgotten to stop recording, which just happens when I'm playing Case of Cut. So uh, I'm going to stop recording now, and we're hopefully going to see each other again next time. So uh, yeah, hang in there, and see you in a few days. Bye.